Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how you can find points on a Unity Play Mesh. Uh, this is our mesh and we will have 121 vertices on it and all the coordinates of them, of course. When I hit play, you will see all the points that's just there. Uh, these are shown as draw gizmos. When I toggle gizmos button, you will see they are gone and they are come back. The green ones are the corner ones. We will be storing them in an array. We will be storing their IDs in an array. And the others are just normal vertices on this plane. Uh, this is not normal in the plane. I just added my uh, script plane points into it. And I will show you how we can create this script in a moment. I just left the skeleton of the script here. So. We will have local vertices, global vertices, and corner vertices. Local vertices are the vertices that are in the coordinate system of the plane, and this one is for global coordinate system. And corner vertices are just the corner vertices that are taken from global vertices using corner IDs. And the radius is used to draw our vertices on screen using draw gizmos. At the start, I'm just creating these. Uh, arrays and in the update I will check if anything happened to transform of the plane so I can update other other vertices. In get vertices I will be taking the vertices from the mesh of the object because it may not have any collider but it should have a mesh so I will taking them from the mesh. I will start with taking the local vertices. Okay, I will start with getting mesh comp mesh filter mesh and vertices. Well, this is called local vertices because it uses the from local coordinate of the plane. I will just clear up global vertices because I will be using this more than once if anything happens to transform of the plane. So for each vector tree point in local vertices. I will transform them into global vertices using a transform property function that's called transform point. So I'm adding a new point to global vertices. This is transform using transform point. Transform at the transform point point. And this way you can as you can see from the description, transforms position from local space to world space. Now I have the global vertices, I will just update the corner vertices by clearing them up. And I will use corner IDs that I just created here. Integer ID in corner ID, corner vertices, and global vertices ID. Uh, this way, the corner points will be stored in here. Uh, now that I have all these vertices, I can have them calculated at the start. And I need to see them, so I will be writing some more. Whenever a value is undefined on row and you want to show them on screen from on row gizmos, it just gives error. So I will check if any of my values are un unidentified. So it will just return and none of the codes below there will be run. So first of all, I would like to show, I would like to set a color for my global vertices, which, which is color yellow. And again, I will be using this one here. Global vertices. Nope, I will just change it here. Okay, I will just get here to global vertices. There's minus one dot cells here. I will just draw points and a radius that I just defined up there. And I will just do the same for corner points because I want to. Okay, corner point, corner vertices. Okay, now I will show how it prints corner vertices, and that's enough for now. So I will do some things here, but not now. Let's go back to our project. So now they are here, but when I try to find my okay, 
Okay, let's check if you can see. This is my. You see, the points are not updated. Like, but the place is changing, but the points are not updated. So we will need to add some more things. Uh, one of the things that can be done is just call get vertices in each frame. But do not match the performance part because we don't need to call that for each uh, frame. Okay, I think now let's go back. Now it just calculates all the time. And yeah, it, it gets updated. But Am I like? Am I want this? I want this. I don't know. I think I don't want to. Okay, good. I can't find change. So I will be using a flag of transform. This flag is called transform has changed, and you can see has the transform changed since the last time the flag was set to false. As you can see, it says this flag was set to false. So let's just set it false here because why not and see what happens. Now I set the flag false. I'm just running the project. You see, all the vertices are calculated, calculated and gone. And I will change my and it goes crazy again because because it's that. I didn't set it after I use it to false again. I will just get it from here and voila. Now it will work just fine. Now I have my plane here. I will be changing its transform like this. And you see it just burst uh, the moment I am changing the transform. When I stop changing it, it just stops and maybe you take it update it a little bit you see and when I left no changes you can use this for other features you would like in your game but I'm happy for it at the moment well I will be using these corner points to find another random points inside this plane an easy approach would be using all these 121 points and just choose randomly among them but that way I can put some one here some random points here like the between them can be also filled with my next approach in some next videos so if you would like to see that let me know I will be using very standard coordinates to find the random points I have written a tutorial for this method I just implemented here you can check the links out down there. Also, I'm adding the link for the random point findings uh, tutorial that I also have written. And yeah, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have fun tweaking.